हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रेप द मोस्ट कॉम्प्रेंसिव एप फॉर ऑल एग्जाम्स नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नॉच फिल्टर इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज नैरो बैंड बैंड स्टॉप फिल्टर एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल गेट द आइडिया अबाउट बैंड स्टॉप फिल्टर देन आई विल डिस्कस नॉच फिल्टर दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स स्पेशली फॉर अ गेट एग्जाम right and it is important for electronics electrical and instrumentation branch first of all my introduction myself sanjay rathi i'm having around 21 plus years of teaching experience in the field of competitive exams like esc gate and psu and i have qualified and selected for engineering services exam these are my ranks air 16 in esc 2005 air 21 in esc 2008 and i have mentored more than 1 lakh students for these competitive exams right and now this is scheduled for you for instrumentation engineering series on control from 3rd june to 11th june please you can take a screenshot if you are from instrumentation branch okay that is important for you and please note the time daily classes at 7:30 pm and now i am going to take a very important session on analog operational amplifier if you are interested then stay tuned with me subscribe our channel daily morning 8 am important topics from analog okay then my dear friends what is the notch filter notch actually the notch filter is what narrow band band reject filter or band stop filter band reject filter is also known as band stop filter or band elimination filter so how we can design band stop filter that is the band stop filter so first of all watch this this is a high pass filter in previous session already i have discussed high pass filter right uh, first order second order low pass filter first order second order active as well as passive so you can watch my those session now if high pass filter and low pass filter are connected in parallel and again here we are adding a adder then the output and then this circuit will behave like what band stop filter right notch filter is a special case of band stop filter so first of all band stop filter how is a band stop filter write this for example this is a high pass filter this is a low pass filter if we are having frequency response curve like this like this is the frequency response curve for low pass filter right let like this is the cut off frequency of low pass filter it is given as low pass filter this is the cut off frequency right and that is the gain second let like this is the cut off frequency for high pass filter f2 this is the high pass filter it will pass the high frequency signal now what will happen this low pass filter will pass the signal below f1 this high pass filter will pass the signal above f2 now i am giving you numerical value for example if it is 100 hertz and let it is 200 hertz now let the frequency is from input frequency is from 0 to infinite what will happen low pass filter will pass the frequency from 0 to 100 hertz okay because it is a low pass filter it will pass the signal below 100 hertz so 0 to 100 hertz high pass filter will pass the signal 200 hertz to what infinite because it is a high pass filter more than 200 hertz so 200 hertz to infinity so what will happen at this point we are getting the signal from 0 to 100 hertz and 200 to infinity then what about the signal between 100 hertz to 200 hertz and that band from 100 hertz to 200 hertz is stopped by this and that's why it is called band stop filter band stop 
filter. So this is the F1, that is the F2. This is the low pass filter, this is the high pass filter. Then what will be the band stop filter? Watch this. This is the low pass filter. This is the high pass filter. And this is the value. And this particular band is stopped. Particular band is stopped by this filter. This is visible to you, everyone. So this is a this is called what band stop. F1 to F2. Now, what will be the bandwidth? What will be the bandwidth? Now the number of students will give the answer. The bandwidth is infinite. Why? Because we are having the idea that the particular band of frequency which is passed by the filter. But my dear students, remember. It is a band stop filter and that's why F2 minus F1, the band of frequency which is stopped by the filter is called bandwidth and that's why the bandwidth of this filter is F2 minus F1, F2 minus F1. This particular band is stopped by this particular filter. So what will be the bandwidth 200 minus 100 that is 100 hertz. This is the band stop filter. Now what is the notch filter? Notch filter is nothing but a special case of band stop. What is this? Now try to understand. If F1, let F1 is 49 hertz. Try to understand. F1 is 49 hertz and F2 is 51 hertz. Just I am giving you the example. 49 hertz and 51 hertz. Then what will happen? This low pass filter will pass the signal above 49, uh, below 49 hertz, right? If suppose I am using the term that like this is the 49 hertz, that like this is the 51 hertz, it will pass the signal between 0 to 49, it will pass the signal above 51 to infinity. Then what about the 50 hertz signal? The 50 hertz signal is stopped by this. 50 hertz signal is stopped by this. Watch this diagram. What about the bandwidth? This is the 49 cutoff frequency. This is the 51. What about the bandwidth? Bandwidth is very low and that's why it is called narrow band band stop filter that is the narrow band band stop filter now why we want to stop the 50 hertz similarly we can use the second example let f1 is 99 hertz f2 is 101 hertz then up to 99 from 101. In this case, forty nine and then from fifty one. Right, that is the frequency response. This is called gain and that is called frequency. Okay, this filter want to stop what 50 hertz, this filter want to stop what 100 hertz, why, right, so in the communication system what will happen, there will be the power supply noise, try to understand, in this room if suppose I am communicating with you, what will be the audio frequency, the audio frequency is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, this is the wanted signal from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. But at the same time, in this room, supply frequency is also present. Electrical supply. What is the supply frequency in India? 50 hertz. And at the same time, harmonics of this frequency is also present. What, what will be the harmonics? 50 hertz, 100 hertz, 150 hertz and so on. 150 hertz, 200 hertz. These are called harmonics. Right, right, these all are present here, but the amplitude of first 
fundamental component and first uh, that is the second harmonic and third harmonic this is high but when the frequency increases amplitude decreases to so which harmonic is important here 50 100 and what 150 we have to remove this because they all are what unwanted these are called power supply noise in communication system and that's why we are using narrow band filter so narrow band filter will stop the 50 hertz and uh, it will pass all other frequency then it will stop the 100 hertz like this then it will pass all other frequency or 150 hertz if suppose we are in USA then what is the supply frequency give me the answer in comments box 60 hertz then what will be the harmonics 120 hertz 180 hertz right so that is the harmonics these frequencies are called notch frequencies notch frequencies okay so ye hai. now it is also called band reject filter or band elimination filter yes notch frequencies are 50 hertz 160 and 120 this is in india and that is in usa it is used in communication system to suppress the power supply noise now what about the practical diagram right practically we are having this type of frequency response for notch filter this type right this is called frequency and so on okay so we can design in network right that already i have given you the idea about what high pass filter low pass filter right uh, first order second order when these two filters are connected in what parallel then we can design notch filter with the help of what adder so that is the block diagram high pass filter low pass filter adder always remember the cutoff frequency of low pass filter is less than what cutoff frequency of high pass filter this that will be the question in the network we are having one design right already in uh, i just i want to relate that with the network so watch this okay this type of diagram this is the high pass filter and when we are connecting and this is called low pass filter these two are connected in what parallel the white portion is the low pass filter and yellow one is the high pass filter then this is called notch filter band stop filter So that is the value okay now in the previous lecture already we have discussed that is the filter high pass passive filter this is the high pass first order butterworth filter active filter already i have discussed please watch my previous session then that is a second order high pass butterworth filter this is very very important for competitive exams this is a low pass filter passive this is a first order low pass butterworth filter passive it's sorry active and this is a second order low pass butterworth filter okay so that is all about the notch filter you are on baiju's exam prep please subscribe our channel press the bell icon and like the session thank you for attending the session thank you